Waste collected from households in Bukavu is brought to this processing factory. It's crushed and recycled into biofuel known as briquettes. Briquettes are made from organic waste like banana and potato peels, which are then mixed with sawdust and water. The project was launched earlier this year, aims to conserve the country's forests. In 1994, there was a huge number of Rwandese refugees arriving in eastern DRC. And over time, we noticed that deforestation was also increasing. Compounding the problem further was the fact that there were no plans for reforestation. With 95% of Congolese depending on wood and charcoal for cooking, some experts say deforestation may be the country's biggest climate change threat. The project also wants to get low-cum earners to use sustainable energy to meet their fuel needs. A bag of charcoal sells for between 25 to 30 US dollars, while briquettes go for about 13 US dollars. We now use briquettes because it makes life easier and cooks food quicker and it's also affordable. For example, we can cook beans in very little time without spending too much money. The project has made a significant impact on the way people use energy. It has contributed to a more sustainable management of our forests. Even though we are yet to conduct a proper evaluation around this project, we support it and we have found that the making of briquettes has contributed to the reduction of deforestation, especially in rural areas. The Congolese government is working on plans to replicate the project in other parts of the country in the future. Tuli Shabalala. CCTV.